Hey, I'm Jamie for Guitarist. Now, if you're uh, into high-end guitars, then you'll know about PRS, um, people like Nick Huber and so on. But uh, one name that you really, really should check out is Patrick James Hegel, who's based up in Oswestry Street um, in the UK. And um, Patrick went through um, a sort of period of making high-end acoustic guitars that were very good. Now his company focuses exclusively on really nice electric guitars. Um, and this is one of them here. This is the Macon single cut, which is kind of like the flagship of his um, range, if you will. This one um, has obvious influences, but uh, it's a very special guitar indeed. And there's a few things under the hood that we should check out. So let's look at them now. You've got a single piece mahogany neck, eastern red maple, flamed top, absolutely beautiful, mahogany body, it's up here at the uh, headstock end, got hip shot classic, open back tuners, so I'm just going to show you those. Kind of a weird mixture of vintage and modern there with ivoroid buttons on them. Oh and let me just show you one more thing, the way that the heel um, has been sculpted away to allow access for the your hand as you go up in the upper frets is a real work of art on this guitar. It's beautiful. Scale length is 24.62 inches, so Gibson-like, a um, little bit shorter than um, some. Jeskar medium tall frets. You've got this nice flamed maple binding on the edge there, which is an, which is an option on this model. So over to the engine room of the guitar itself, um, which are the pickups, which are, have an interesting story behind them as well. These are Cream T BFG uh, Whiskerbucker pickups. So these are directly based or cloned, um, Cream T might say, on the famous Pearly Gates uh, Les Paul belonging to Billy Gibbons, the pickups in that guitar. And Cream T use a proprietary scanning technique to uh, exactly map the performance of um, the pickups in Billy's guitar and then replicate that within these. And I have to say they sound absolutely sensational. So however closely they get, and Green Tea say they get very close indeed, they sound absolutely brilliant. You've got the traditional control layout, but there is also a blower switch, which is basically a bypass um, on the, for the bridge pickup, which just gives you a little bit more output and um, that kind of raw, unfiltered sound, which can, can, can really give you an extra boost in solos. Uh, it's not a boost, but it, you can you can hear a little jump, and um, the rest of it is really just about the craft of making guitars in which every single detail has been carefully considered and made beautifully. Like for example, the truss rod cover here has a little teardrop shape of um, what could possibly be bog oak, but um, it's certainly a nice little piece of wood. It's been carefully crafted there. The inlays, the Patrick Jones Eagle inlay, beautifully done as are these kind of silhouette or outline nods to Gibson Heritage there. Beautiful piece of maple on the top. Um, the main thing you need to do though really is to hear this guitar um, and how that all comes together uh, because it is really sensational sounding. So let's have a listen now. Mm -hmm. 